as temperatures keep warming up, you might have some decor in your home that isn't as suitable for summer weather. Interior designer Roxana Usman explains how you can make that more seasonally appropriate without having to buy new furniture. Good morning. Good morning. So we're transitioning anything we have that may not be so good for the summer. That's right. That's right. So here is a master bed bedroom that I designed and we installed it last fall and it was perfect. You know, luscious, scrumptious, dark yeah. colors, rich colors. Well, suddenly we have an 85 yeah. degree day and it's not so relevant. So I just wanted to share one of my favorite tricks to kind okay. of lighten up bedding. And that is simply to introduce a mat lisse coverlet. Oh. And these are washable. They come in a variety of different price points, but they work really well because you can now take that heavy duvet, yeah. fold it at the bottom, use it almost um, kind of as a decorative yeah. bed scarf, but still have something light, bright, and airy. And this is so nice. This is so soft. Yeah. And another great tip is I actually love high quality linens. And if you are somebody that you don't like a lot of pillows, mm -hmm. a great cheating way, because you get bang for your buck, is to invest in really beautiful pillow shams that are high quality fabric. And then you can just throw those in the washer. They do require a little bit of ironing. Anything worth valuable is worth yeah. ironing, right? <laughs> um, and then of course they have a variety oh, of cool. embroidered linens mm -hmm. that you can get. Also, you can get white sheets, you can get ivory sheets. I tend to do that instead of the colored sheets just because this is a little bit more timeless. Oh, very nice. And what about over here? So this is some absolutely delicious yes. fabric. But so it is delicious. <laughs> a yard retail. Oh, wow. um, so you might not want a coverlet with this quality and you have to dry clean it because it's very, very high content of wool. Mm -hmm. um, if you, and congratulations on your upcoming little one, right? Yes. Four-legged son or daughter. Um, but we also have a dog that's in and off, on and off of our bed. And so we use bed skirts, or not bed skirts, bed scarves. Scarves. Um, and you can use a very expensive fabric, but you only need a few yards yeah, and you remove it at the end of the day, right? Right? Yes. So then you have these washable covers and yeah. it works really well. And we have you have reversible. I mean, these reversible are reversible because then you get tired of one pattern and you can just reverse it completely washable. And I wanted to show you something else, how you can change the look of your coverlet just by what you use as an underlay. So this is a, a very different look, as you can see, than something with with more of a pattern yeah. like that. And there's so many options. So many that's options. Fun, gives it a little variety. And what's the chocolate? You have to talk about the chocolate. Any turn down <laughs> service provides you chocolate on your pillow. So. so I better expect some chocolate if you ever help that's me decorate right. my face. All right. Rexana, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you, Allie. Some great advice and to yes. clarify, I'm having, I'm getting a puppy, I'm not having a child. <laughs> just to be clear, but I'm still very excited. Four-legged. Four-legged puppy. Right. And Gary